Now at this point we've used the battery as our origin. But sometimes your problem may not be actually from the battery, it might be somewhere in the circuit. So what we're going to do is take both leads off of the battery. You'll notice our DVOM reads zero volts. There's zero potential voltage between these two points. But let's test, let's take the positive over here to this connector. Now our load is on, the light is on. It has to be on, the circuit has to be connected to do a voltage drop test. We take our negative and we go to this side, this connector, and you see we're reading 12.6 volts. There is no voltage drop between those two points. That's the same as going back to here. Should be the same reading. So let's go back up to here, touch the positive and the negative, and we're going to open the circuit. I'm going to hook my negative in, we're still reading 12.6 volts, and I'm going to open the circuit, and I read zero volts. Now that does not mean you have dropped all the voltage, because remember the circuit must be on for it to be a voltage drop test, to test the integrity of the circuit. What this is basically doing is the same thing as if I'm at the battery with both posts and I simply remove one. I go to zero volts. I've removed the ground. So when I am at this point and this point and the circuit switch is open, I've removed the ground. So of course I should read zero volts. But when I put the ground back into play, the, the load is on. I'm reading 12.7 volts. What does that mean? I have full potential between this point and that point. Full pressure between these two points. That's what the DVOM reads. Let's go just between this connector and the other side of the switch. Now we've dropped all of the voltage, or very nearly all of it, 0 0.01. And if I open that switch, we're reading full voltage. So as I close that switch, I'm testing the voltage potential difference between this point and this point. I have dropped all the voltage. Now in a normal system on a car, the maximum allowable voltage drop is 0.5. But 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 is an excellent voltage drop there will always be some drop of voltage at every connector or every inter at every place that resistance is introduced. There will always be some measurable amount of voltage drop. You're looking for excessive voltage drop as a problem. So when I'm testing right here, there's no excessive voltage drop that is a good circuit. Now let's introduce some resistance into this and see what happens. Now we have actually taken apart the potentiometer inside of a gas tank. This is off the float of a fuel pump cinder. And we've got the connectors here. And what we're actually going to do is put this in the circuit. So we're going to separate this and our light will go off. That's the same thing as turning the switch down. And we're going to put this one in this side. And this one in this side. Now you see our light comes back on. If you look, notice, it's a little bit dimmer because we can actually control that here. So we're adding resistance to the circuit. We're doing it with a controlled device, but the same thing can be, occur because of corrosion, a bad ground. We're on the ground side of the circuit. So there the light is fully bright. We're going to dim it down. If I take my power, and ground and touch the battery, I should have 12.6 volts. So this 12.6 volts is going to follow the power side and go all the way to this connector. My ground is going to follow the ground through the closed switch and go all the way to this connector.
So instead of having my power and ground at the battery, I now have them at the beginning and ending point of the resistance. If you read the volt ohmmeter, you can see that we've got five volts. Now remember, a good voltage drop is to drop all the voltage. The battery should drop all the way to zero. We have not dropped to zero. We're reading five volts. We've got a voltage drop of five, which is excessive. Remember, the allowable voltage drop is half a volt, or 0.5. We can vary that with the potentiometer by moving it, and you can see we're going 6, 7, 8, and the light is getting dimmer. Now we go back the other way, the light gets brighter, and we're down to 2 point some volts. We have resistance on the ground side of the circuit. So we know we've got too much voltage drop. We got more than a half a volt. So how do we find it? We're going to go back to the original way we did a voltage drop test. We're going to leave the ground connected to the battery. And we're reading 12.6 volts. We're going to take the positive off and we go to zero. So I'm going to follow my positive wire, go to the first connector, and I'm reading 12.6. I go to the opposite side of the fuse, 12.6. The next connector, 12.6. Now I'm on the battery, the positive half of the circle. We're going to go through the re resistance and go to this connector. Now I'm reading 5 volts. I have not dropped to zero. When I go from the positive side of the circuit to the negative side of the circuit, on a good circuit, you should drop to zero volts. We did not drop to zero, we dropped to five. So this is the point of origin of our voltage drop. Now as we continue, we go to this point, and you see we dropped to zero volts, 0 0.03. Now we're reading what we should. So my fault then is somewhere between where I found ground, a good ground, and I did not find good power. I only had five volts of power. The resistance is the problem. So if you found that, you'd need to search that part of the circuit to find your fault. Now let's do it from the ground side. I put my positive back on the battery and we take the ground off the battery. Go to my first and, and we're reading zero volts. We should be because I've con disconnected from the battery. We go to our first connector. We're reading 12.6 volts. Now that's correct because my positive is on the battery. That's the same thing as reading like this. So when I'm connected here, this ground probe is looking for power and it is finding it. Now we're going to continue on the circuit. We're going to go to the switch, 12.6 volts. We go to the other side of the six, switch, 12.6 volts. We go to this connector, 12.6 volts. We go through the resistance and we go on this side. And we're reading 7.5 volts. Instead of dropping the full amount of the voltage, we've only dropped down to 7.6 volts. So the problem, again, is somewhere between the bad reading, where you don't drop full voltage, and the full voltage. Now we're reading 12.6 because, remember, we're testing the ground side looking for positive. I found positive. The other way we were reading zero volts is because we were testing from the positive side looking for ground.